What's up, everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So, check it out, man. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I really wanted to talk about Adam Sessler and his quote unquote, you know, craziness that's going on Twitter and stuff. I was going to pretty much go after him big time, but. I talked to my girl and she pretty much told me her side of the story. I'm just like, you know what? You, 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 you're probably right on this because I'm only seeing it on one side. So if you haven't heard, Adam Sester was a huge, huge G4 TV host in the early 2000s. I say about when I saw him, it was like 2004, 2005 and stuff on freaking satellite, which I, at that time, nobody else was doing that type of stuff. He was with Morgan Webb and um, Olivia Munn, which I've never been a fan of, of her for the longest time and stuff. And just doing these different type of video game reviews and stuff like that, doing um, game journalist stuff. And it was so cool because he had this little cool side to him and everybody liked that and stuff. But I noticed something around maybe 2000 and um, I say 13, 14 when the PS4 came out and stuff. And he was just like different. I, I, I might add, but I saw the fast forward this. I saw the G4 stuff happen, the fraud situation. Everybody was coming for well, quote unquote coming back from that um, G4 reunion and stuff. And he just, to me, just went off the crazy end in my opinion like just attacking everybody you know and I personally uh, how can I put this man maybe since I was talking to my girl about this last night or early this morning it's like about 5 20 in the morning um Maybe he just got sick and tired of being, you know, that person on a pedestal and stuff. Let me explain. Now, there was a person like, example, like Vanilla Ice, you know, had his big hit song. You know, everybody knows about it. I'm going way back here to talk about Vanilla Ice and stuff. Had his big freaking hit. And everybody knew him about that song. And just one day, he just snapped. You know, and I think that's what happened. He got sick and tired of being being in that spot. You know, Britney Spears did the same thing. She just freaking just snapped. She, I think she's still, you know, pretty much out of it and stuff. Um, that one uh, Anakin Walker... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the freaking uh, episode one of Star Wars, the the little young uh, Anakin, Anakin Skywalker and stuff just just went nuts. He pretty much didn't want to act anymore, and so on and so on. I think that's the same thing that freaking happened. That Adam Sessler got sick and tired of these people, you know, consider him as you know a, a gamer and stuff. And I know some people are trolling him. I know he has a whole freaking leftist mentality and stuff. And try, they tried to bring that stuff on G4 TV. Let, let's be real here. G4 TV back in the day was 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 freaking raunchy. Was was completely raunchy. Big time. And I know that the leftists do not like freaking Republicans. Sorry, I'm going everywhere with this video. I, I, I apologize. Like my bad, but I, I I have so much stuff I, I want to want to say, but P 
people during that time hate Trump. My girl despised Trump. Hates him to the core. I don't like freaking presidents anyway. I don't like Joe Biden. I don't like freaking, you know, Don, Donald Trump. I don't like any of uh, any of these presidents because they don't do anything. That's that's how I feel. I'm basically in in the freaking middle. I don't like like the extreme leftists. I don't like the extreme right people. That's why that's what I am, you know. And there's some people that's just like straight left and go, and going nuts and despise anybody like Adam Sessler. I I will be showing you multiple freaking stuff of his tweets on Twitter, just despising people, hating people, and he just getting sick and tired of it because he's about 49 years old and. Getting sick and tired of gamers coming up to him and look, and being his freaking idol, you know. I I, I like Adam Sessler for the longest time. I I really did, but just attacking people for no reason, even RGT eighty five and stuff, you know. Tried to have a, a conversation with him. And he's just attacking him too. I'm just like, dude, he's he's the most freaking chill guy that that I I've seen on freaking YouTube. And stuff. Unlike freaking Dreamcast guy, just say he wants to boycott this and does a boycott because he's a fucking fraud. Some of these YouTubers are are say they play games and don't don't like girlfriend reviews. Just just saying, man. And that's not um, cool, dude. That's that's really not. But apparently he has been on some drugs and have some issues with his life and stuff. And I understand everybody else has freaking issues. I have freaking issues. And stuff, everybody does, which it happens. Um, but yeah, man, it's just my girl says he got sick and tired of it. He's 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 annoyed. He doesn't care about you know gamers. He he doesn't, and I I can understand I can understand why because he's been in the gaming industry for freaking twenty years and, and doing this stuff, and he's he's getting sick and tired of it. You know, at, at some point. <laughs> You know, you don't want to do it anymore. You, you try to do something else. Like I said about um, Vanilla Ice and stuff. He he really, really hated that freaking song. That song that he made, a freaking Ice Ice Baby. He wanted, he wanted to make a metal version of that. But during that time, that it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't going to work. It wasn't. And he announced that stuff when I was, way well oh my gosh it was back in um early freaking 2000 like 2008 2007 uh, about the the mtv you know before sweet 16 or like road rules oh my gosh <laughs> i'm going so freaking back in time <laughs> um the surreal life and stuff when that crap was what's happening i don't know what they do now um i all i know is like the freaking teenage stuff and all that crap that's that's the MTV but anyways yeah he he announced that he wanted to make a, a metal version and he was hard on freaking drugs hard on freaking drugs and it sucks it just you get sick and tired of the stuff and just just snap and I think that just happened with Adam Sessler I mean I hope the best for him I I, I really do but man you can't do anything about it. If he doesn't like anybody, he doesn't like anybody. Sorry. That is what it is. And I, like I said, I wanted to go off on him, but girlfriend said, you know, convince me like otherwise. And I, 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 I can understand that. But anyways, guys, that's about it. I just wanted, I already wanted to talk about this. Um, it sucks that Adam Sess was like this because I, I already did like like him. He, he has his own opinions. He just doesn't like anybody and any gamers anymore and it, it just happens so you have somebody that you actually you know like then comes out to be a prick <laughs> basically but anyways guys that's about it watch out for weirdos um stay healthy and be happy sometimes man because you only have one life to live anyways guys that's about it hope you guys enjoy this big ox triple six sign out have a go. I guess I'm not done yet. So I still have a few more things I want to freaking talk about. Now, Adam Sessler saying that some of these gamers are basement dweller, bottom feeders, freaking living their 
mom's basement and stuff like that. He's sort of not wrong about that. And also, Frost's rant about sexism in gaming, there, there are people that really do not like women playing video games at all. Now, I made my, made my opinion of some of these frauds, some of these gamers don't play that many games, like SS Sniper Wolf, freaking Girlfriend Reviews, even though they say they play games, but there's no actual evidence, no actual proof, even though Girlfriend Re Reviews tried to do do a review of Elden Ring, where, where's their where's their achievement score and trophy list? Um, a Xbox ambassador, I called her out. She didn't play games, she, even though she said she played games, but she she didn't. There there is a community of frauds around this stuff, and I I do not like it. But also on the other hand, I have seen other other girls that actually play video games too. I met some, talked to him at my job. So, you know, it's mixed. But also, there is sexism in gaming. I'm, I cannot deny that. There's a lot of misogyny, all that type of stuff. I cannot deny that. And I'm going to tell you a story that I would never forget. Would never forget it. I was working, well, working, I, I was actually picking up um, the Nintendo 3DS. It was, I say, a year after launch, maybe, maybe, maybe six months when they first launched it. I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I want to get this stuff!" And I was with the girl that I'm with now, but back then we broke up and stuff. Um, I went to GameStop and I was gonna pick it up because they had the the stuff on sale because nobody was picking was buying it. And this dude say about maybe 25 30 to be honest he if if he in my opinion looked like he never um got out of his mom basement glasses very geeky um he you could probably could send him a brony if he actually did that stuff i'm just assuming um this dude literally was one of the 3ds and they didn't have any in the store, which to me, I said it was, it sucked. I was like, no big deal. But this dude literally yelled at this associate at GameStop, was like, I want my freaking 3DS now. I don't care how you get it. I want, want to get this mofo now. I demand it. I'm like, literally, like, like, one to freaking punch this dude in the face. I'm like, dude, it's not that big of a freaking deal, man. Relax. And he just stormed off. But there's people that are like that and stuff and you know they can't help themselves but i just want to put that out there hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll talk to you guys later big ox out